Another button. Here we go. These are fun to watch. My name is Bonko. Nice to meet you. Bonko? Them legs. He's back. I'm from Bulgaria originally. Damn. Bonko's ripped. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. All right, dude. Okay. Do you work out? Um, yeah. How many times a week? I'm probably not as much as you. <laughs> What's your favorite exercise? In oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, On cardio? What's your favorite cardio machine? Dude, dude, oh, dude. Yo, you're yo, killing me. That's an Audi Jet Wood is. Look how big he got. He got nothing else to talk about, though. You know what I mean? He is the guy that the gym is his personality. He worked out to this posture, like. There's a point where things are, it's too much. I'm not saying, you know, he that's his own personal aesthetic that he wants. I just think he's better fitting clothes. Well, I don't know why his posture's like that. Roll your shoulders back, my guy. <laughs> You're doing something wrong. You're gonna pop a disc. And again, he, I'm assuming he's not living his life for women. That look with these sh booty shorts and the yeah. world's smallest t-shirt on the planet, I just think yeah. you change the outfit a little bit. Women don't like that look. They don't like the, the episode of SpongeBob where <laughs> pumps up his arms. Yeah. Um, that's intimidating. It's, it's, Kind of an again a niche look but when you're like a bodybuilder like that i feel like when you wear casual regular clothes you look kind of off a little like i feel like they always would wear athletic wear like even on a dating show like he didn't care to like wear it i mean casual i mean he clearly his entire ego and pride is wrapped up in his quads and biceps yeah. so he has to wear the world's shortest short and the world's smallest t-shirt to a show what he's working with. And then every question is about the gym. Control machine. How many, how many days of the week? How many sets? You almost don't even need to talk about going to the gym. What are your favorite? What's your favorite? Right now. I'm so sorry. Why did you reject me? I think maybe you work out too much for me. I think you don't work out enough. <laughs> Damn. My name's Ken. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Sophia. That's my daughter's name. Oh, okay. Do you just have one daughter? Mm-hmm. She's four. She's about to be five this February. Is that a deal breaker? Yeah, she's looking that way. <laughs> his, his demeanor is off, buddy. You ain't... I don't think so. I guess not. What do you do for it? I'm a dental hygienist. Oh, touch Sophia has had Botox. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, it didn't light up red, but I would have got out of here. Oh, Did you really, really get Botox? I have gotten a little Botox. Dude! Stop. Stop. Is that a deal breaker? I'm on natural, baby. Dude, you have a five-year-old. Why'd you do that? I'll probably get more Botox, so. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, yeah. We gotta go then. Yeah, he's tripping. Bring a new girl on if you want. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab someone else. Bring him in. Oh, wait, what? Wait, whoa. She says she don't wanna do it no more? All right, so what's your deal? I mean, like, life-wise, currently I work as a substitute teacher. That's crazy. Um, I do cosplay. Uh, oh, she's in a cosplay. I'm a teacher at Franklin, and really? I yeah, I love going to Comic Con. This is like a siblings or dating situation, uh -huh. here. which actually is a funny and I th I would well, use yeah, that cause, yeah, I right. laughed because I was like, you don't hear that. Mm -hmm. So when you say it, it's like, no. you steer like yeah. Oh. As opposed to that, tell me where about yeah. where you grew up. That's actually funny. He has an irrational fear of urinals. How come? Like in middle school or high school or whatever, you go to the bathroom. You're just unguarded. Mm -hmm. If anyone lightly taps you, you just like fall into the urinal. A uh, what? <laughs> you get pushed into a urinal, so your day is just ruined. I've never had that happen. <laughs> Not relatable, bro. Is hygiene important? Yes. I have a very sensitive sense of smell. But... Let's put this to the test. I could tell. Give me a good whiff. That's get over to it. Never heard. Do I have to? I don't know. Yeah. You smell like native. Does he smell naughty or nice? He smells nice. What did you choose? Candy cane. Great. Working great. I think you two are really cute together. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you down for one dollar margaritas? Uh oh. Oh, it's enough. Oh, jeez. Are you unsure? Go. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Ask her why. I no, I get it. No, like that was a. I thought that was a good. That was a yeah. good talk. But it's. I'd be interested in talking more. I had a good time though. I think they're on the same level. I thought they were. Like I did like him a lot, but also I don't want to not leave my options open. I guess. Oh, oh my! Oh my God! They become seven when you start Xing. That's when you got nobody. You get no one. It's sad because you can do that for every round. Then if you like this guy, well, there's gonna be another guy. So. Yeah, I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm Celeste. Daniel's red flags are people who can't take a joke. Tell her a joke and see if she can take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if we're hanging out, like. I like to give people shit sometimes. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Yeah. Oh That's yeah, cool. I give my friends shit all the time. That's cool. Why are they zooming in? <laughs> um. Oh, that all right. Sorry. <laughs> it's cool. Why'd you press the button? 
You're smacking your gum and it was kind of gross. You're right, <laughs> no. sorry. I forgot to spit it out before I came out here. But if that was the world's most handsome man and he was smacking his gum, she'd probably be like, ah, can gum is it? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Celeste. Nice to meet you. Evan. Mm. How old are you? I'm 21. 21? Yeah. You? I'm about to turn 26. How do you feel about younger guys? Kind of depends on the maturity level, I suppose. She looked old. Uh, yeah, I thought she was 35, sorry. What was, your, what was your most uh, toxic moment? Might be just sometimes I take more than I give. Okay. In terms of a relationship. I don't know. Just... He's gonna hit it. I'm sorry. Oh. She was really connecting with Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's her fault. She said no. Would you like to see Xavier again? Yeah. Stop. No. Evan. Yeah. Will you go ask Xavier if he would like to? If he comes back, I'm no. pissed. Look who we have here. From the grave. <laughs> it was more fun talking with you than the other guys. Bro, she disrespected you, bro. I do have to hit the button though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's fair. That's fair. I don't play second chance. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was out of time. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? What's your name? Uh, my name's Aisha. What do you do for work? Okay. Okay. Hit that. I mean, button. But button. button. <laughs> Don't no, hit the button. I'll oh, shut up. So, what do you coach? Volleyball and basketball. Oh, I did volleyball all throughout high school. That's that what they do. Oh, oh ma'am. No. Uh, oh, you can hit it. I'm sorry. How you doing? How you I'm doing? doing good. Doing how the other guys do? Um, he was really sweet and stuff. He's really sweet. Just not my type, but it's okay. Do you get naughty or nice vibes from him? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Nice not. I feel like I get nice vibes, but I'm sure that you have like a wild side. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, like I do got a wild side, but you just really got to get get to know me. Yeah. I don't let that out to everybody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How tall are you? Me? I'm 5'4". Oh! Why is he oh, like that? Damn, bruh! He can't control that. What the fuck did you just say? You can't. Uh, he's been no, he knows he's short. Don't make it worse. And she goes, how tall are you? He said, me? She asks that so she can. But a guy say how much you weigh to a girl. That's oh, yeah. super skinny. How much you weigh? Overweight. Imagine that. And I don't want to say anything to discourage short guys, but it's harder for you. Like, it's very. No, no, it's definitely hard. If you are 5'4", as a grown man, you need to supplement with something else. It's not impossible, but. Yeah, because I knew guys that were very short that were still oh, bagging chicks. But that's one of the metrics that you got to, like, again, supplement with something else. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What was your name? My name's Asia. Asia? <laughs> nice to meet you. Mecca. Yeah. Mecca. Nice to meet you, Mecca. I like your outfit. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's gonna work. Okay. I have a question. Do you find each other attractive? I would say yes. Oh, thanks. And you have a really nice face. Oh, and you have cool hair. He got the Rainforest Cafe. I would get a shape up before I came on the show. Now he got that waterfall. He got that hang loose. <laughs> what do you do for work? I work with my family's business. Uh, it's a construction services business. Oh, that's why. Yeah, so I do. Oh, wait, they're holding hands. When they're like moisturized, they're still like very like rough. There was lotion in the bag. There was, I, hey, like, I have some native lotion. Do you wanna go grab him some lotion? Like, like massage his hands? Sure. Oh God, we're like getting in there. That's cool. Nice, okay. What's that? I like it. Well, I like and it. You don't press me, you win the button. And you get to go on a second date and get to know each other a little bit more. Are you sure we're feeling it? That's up to you. I'm positive. This is exciting. All right, so will you go on a second date with me? I will go on a second date with you. There we go. Congratulations. <laughs> the button. Another button. Xavier was my roommate in college and I love that man. Sweetest, funniest, most genuine guy I know. He handled that exactly how I expected. <laughs> Tough luck, but he'll get him next time. Yeah, he was my favorite one on that. <laughs> just, is there for standing up for himself? Don't be anyone's second option. Know your worth, man. Respect to that to that guy. Yeah, I doubted him. I literally was like, yeah. just No, at first I thought he was just gonna come back and be all happy, but he's like no second chance. I'm surprised she admitted though, like you said. Uh, uh, Can you imagine admitting that, knowing it's gonna be on video? You wouldn't think like, wow, this might come across as really mm -hmm. self-absorbed and kind of out of pocket. I know when I say shit that's out of pocket, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I still say it, but for her to not, I guess, no. her first YouTube video, 